The Host is a 2020 British computer screen supernatural horror film directed by Rob Savage. It's a good and straight movie. You won't get a knot throughout the film. In my opinion, you don't need to watch the movie if you are watching this explanation. I will tell the complete movie in a very short way. So, stay tuned and enjoy. But do not forget to like or subscribe to my channel. The movie began with a woman named Haley. She has friends and everyone was in their house, locked, because of the quarantine. Let me introduce you to them. They are Gemma, Emma, Radina, and Caroline. Later on, the person who joined the video chat named was Teddy. He was stuck on a vacation with his girlfriend Jenny. So after that, we understand they had planned something. Later on, we get to know they wanted to do a planchet which was Haley's plan, and she invited a woman who helped them to connect with the spirit world. Her name was Salen, but before she joined their video chat, Haley warned everyone to respect her in her words. Salen told them a few things before she would start the procedure. For example, not to fear, not disrespect a spirit, or they could be caught by demonic spirits. Therefore, she told them to imagine an invisible line between them as if they were in a circle. Also told them to lit the candles. They closed their eyes and their mind draw an invisible line. However, suddenly Teddy's girlfriend intervened between them and cut the connection despite being dismissed by Teddy. So everyone continued without Teddy. Salen called out to the spirit if they are present with them. Give them a sign. But nothing happened. Then out of the blue Gemma screamed in fear, telling them someone had touched her shoulder. Salen believed it would be a spirit so she told Gemma to ask things to that spirit. Then Gemma told them it was Jack's spirit, who was friends with her in high school. Later on, he committed suicide. Salen suggested Gemma ask Jack, what did he want to say to her? But at that moment, Salen heard something in her house so she cut the call and went to look for it and it made everyone scared. They assumed maybe spirits were making trouble in Salen's house. However, when they looked at Gemma to ask her if she was okay, they were dumbfounded as Gemma laughed from crying. And they understood she faked everything. Haley was angry because she told everyone not to make fun of Salen but still, Gemma did that because she doesn't believe in ghosts and called them in real world a complete hoax to her. But not everyone was happy. Her prank scared them. They were talking with each other as Salen hadn't come back but then suddenly something pulled Haley with the chair and she slid back to the wall. The situation turned eerie. Haley came to the camera and let them see the chair, and she didn't manipulate it. Then she pointed out something in the dark that others failed to see. So Haley took a picture and everyone saw a figure in Haley's room. Suddenly Emma felt someone's presence in her house. While her dad was nowhere because she called her dad many times, then Haley decided to call the spirit to know what it want. They again imagine a line and Haley called for the spirit if it was present with them, so give them a sign. Immediately the lights blinked in Haley's room and they blasted one after another. Everyone screamed and requested Haley to call that woman Salen. Fortunately, they heard Salen's voice and she apologized because she can't join in the video chat due to the poor network. Haley informed her of everything but Salen thought it was Jack because Gemma said she felt the spirit of her friend named Jack but the thing Salen did not know was that there was no Jack. Gemma apologized and asked Salen for help. But it was too late to ask for help. Salen repeated her words that she told them not to disrespect spirits but Gemma did, by making an imaginary spirit and they invited a demonic entity. She can't join their chat but she asked them to draw the line and thank the soul. As she hung up everyone followed her words, but as I said it was too late. Caroline heard something from the attic and she went to there with her camera. As she climbed the stairs everyone saw two legs. They told Caroline to run and Caroline came down with her camera and locked herself in the room. She was sobbing and everyone tried to soothe her. They tried to call Salen again but she wasn't picking up their call. On the other hand, Emma went to the kitchen when she saw a filter face when there was no one. She tossed the floor over it and everyone saw the footsteps because of the floor. Emma ran from that place but she couldn't save herself. Rudina on the other hand did not know where her husband had gone so she did not notice the thing that had happened with Emma. However, when she was about to tell her friends, a body suddenly fell to the ground behind her. She went to the body and it was her husband. She tried to run but she couldn't. Gemma and Haley cried but Carolina acted differently. They called her name but she didn't hear or notice the computer screen and they thought she had muted her computer. But the real story was different, seconds later they saw Caroline covered in blood. And she was hitting her head on the computer. 
They shouted to stop her but they couldn't save her. And that exact moment suddenly Teddy joined in that video chat and invited his death. He saw some invisible force had lugged his girlfriend and hung her in the air. He ran to save his life. But when he fell after colliding with something, then his body caught fire on its own and he died of agony. Haley was dragged by the same force and it took her into the dark. Gemma did not waste the time anymore. She left the house to go to Haley's house. When she reached her house some unknown force attacked her with a glass bottle and she fell to the ground. Still, she was conscious. So, she got up and went to find Haley. Thankfully Haley was still alive but then we got to see the entity who attacked them. The movie ends here. The end was a bit incomplete, maybe its next part will come out where we will be able to see what happened to Haley and Gemma. In short, the Zoom call turned into a nightmare. That's all for today please like and subscribe to my channel. And we'll meet in the next explanation. Thank you.